Sixth grade, today you are going to use Adobe Illustrator to draw a robot as a way of learning how to create shapes in this program. We are still going to make your dessert, but before we do that, we need to learn some basic drawing techniques. We're going to start with creating a new file. Then you'll go to letter as the size and you will hit create. This gives you a white piece of paper. We're mostly going to be using the rectangle tool today, but if you press and hold, you'll see that inside of the rectangle tool is also an ellipse, a polygon, and a star. Let's begin with the rectangle tool. If you click and drag, you create a rectangle. Now with this shape, let's just dissect what we see here. You have white boxes on the corners and in the center. This will help you reshape your rectangle into whatever size you like. If you want to move your rectangle, the blue dot in the center is for you to move it. These circles are for you to curve the outside edges. You can curve all four at once. If all four are blue, if you'd like to just curve one, you tap that one blue circle. You'll get a little black dot behind the triangle. And then you can just curve that one corner, okay? Our first shape will require us to, to curve all of the edges. So I'm just going to pull, tap and pull all four. I'll do that again. I tap one corner, they're all blue. So I'm just clicking and pulling. Click and pull and all four are moving. So I'll go right to about there. Now I need to make the eyes. I'm only gonna draw one eye first and then I'll copy it. So I'll draw another rectangle. This time I only want the outside edge curved. So I'll tap and notice the black dot again and I'm pulling that one corner. Now, I'd like to add a circle inside of this area. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it. I'll go to the rectangle tool, but now I'll go down to the ellipse. And if I click and drag, I will get a circle. All right, almost done. I'm going to add a rounded rectangle for the eyebrows. So I go to the rectangle tool, make the eyebrows zoom in so I can see the four circles, dots, and then make them rounded. And I want to tilt the shape. So to tilt it, I need to hover around one of the corners. And then I can tilt upwards, and that is about the shape that I'd like to create. Make it a little, little skinnier. All right, so. At this time, I'm going to copy and paste the eyes and the eyebrow. To do that, I'll go to the black arrow. With my left hand, I'm going to hold the shift key on my keyboard. And then I'm clicking the line of the outside edge of the eye and clicking the line of the iris. Notice these three blue dots. That tells me that all three are selected and I can move them as a group. I can also shrink them or resize them as a group. What I'd like to do is copy. So I'm gonna to go to File, sorry, go to Edit, Copy, then go back to Edit again and Paste. Now I can touch the dot and have two of them. I want this one reversed, so on the right-hand side, I will go to flip horizontally. Now, <clears throat> I have a pair of eyes, okay? That's enough for you to start with today. If you get past this point, you can, you can continue to add shapes. You can add polygons and stars and other things. In the end, you will need to have your robot with uh, body, with arms and legs, and then multiple shapes inside of each segment. All right, let's save our work.
at the end of class, you will go to File, Save As, Save to the Cloud, give it a title, something that says Robot, press Save. You'll know it's saved by the cloud shape. And then you can shut your computer down. To do that, you go to the Apple and choose Shut Down. All right. I look forward to seeing your robots. Let's go.